Good morning, and welcome to St. Paul of Sixth Parish. Our presider at this Mass is Father Matt Manchowski, and our deacon is Randy Bellis. Our gathering song is number 919, I Come With Joy. Number 919, please stand. <laughs> to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the Holy One of God, our lasting hope. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Lord, our justice. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way that leads to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that may be fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the terebinth of Mamre, as he sat in the entrance of his tent, while the day was growing hot. Looking up, Abraham saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to greet them, and bowing to the ground, he said, Sir, if I may ask you this favor, please do not go on past your servant. Let some water be brought, that you may bathe your feet, and then rest yourselves under the tree. Now that you have come this close to your servant, let me bring you a little food, that you may refresh yourselves, and afterward you may go on your way. The men replied, Very well, do as you have said. Abraham hastened into the tent and told Sarah, Quick, three measures of fine flour, knead it, and make rolls. He ran to the herd, picked out a tender, choice steer, and gave it to a servant who quickly prepared it. <coughs> then Abraham got some curds and milk, as well as the steer that had been prepared, and set these before the three men. And he waited on them under the tree while they ate. They asked Abraham, where is your wife, Sarah? He replied, there, in the tent. One of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah will then have a son. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, 
Now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church, of which I am a minister in accordance with God's stewardship given to me to bring completion for you the word of God, the mystery hidden from ages and from generations past. But now it has been manifested to his holy ones, to whom God chose to make known the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. It is Christ in you, the hope for glory. It is he whom we proclaim, admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom, that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. The word of the Lord. There's an episode of the TV show, The Simpsons, where the, one of the main characters, Homer, was forced back to do his job. And one of the, the boss, Mr. Burns, put a sign on his uh, terminal. So every time that he looks right in front of him, he will see this sign. And the sign says, don't forget, you are here forever. And over the years, Homer put pictures of his daughter, Maggie, onto the sign, and now the sign reads, Do it for her. It is a reminder for us that we can look at our situation in one way to say that this is that permanence of the drudgery, but also we can change that and say, What is truly my goal? What is truly the reason I am doing this or that? For Homer, it was to say, I'm doing it for her, I'm doing it for my family. For us, we can do it in the same way and say, we're doing it for Christ. We're living in that way of the Lord, that the Lord is our destination and the Lord is our reason. It is that way that Abraham has, as he went about praying outside of his tent, to say, Lord, I am connected to you. I am praying to hear what you would like me to do. And as he was praying, he received those strangers 
and the Lord basically allowed him to know what to do, to be that good host. And though Abraham had servants and other people, he himself was the one serving the guests, the one who was going out of his way, making sure that people were taken care of. Such an important aspect in the Christian life, as well as for our Jewish brothers and sisters to welcome the stranger, to be able to make sure that those who are new receive what they need, that they are made to feel welcome, as Abraham did with his guests. It is that reason to say, Lord, I know what to do, and in your name I'm able to do these wonderful things for the people brought before me. In a similar way with Martha and Mary, where Martha realized that she had a great guest before her, and so she wanted to make sure that things were perfect and at hand so that she would be able to serve in the best possible way, which is something that is so wonderful to do. But Mary took that time to say, what does the guest want? What can I do, in a sense, for the Lord who is before me by being in the Lord's teaching, by learning from God? And from that, Mary would be able to serve in an even greater way because she received that great knowledge from the Lord. It is a reminder to us, too, that we can't separate either one completely from the other, where the way of contemplation, where the way of prayer should bring us to that point of action. And even during our action, during our service, we should be connected with the Lord so that we might receive strength, so that we might receive the guidance in what to do. In our second reading, we see this in a different way, where we see that at times we have sufferings in our lives, that as we go about the work of life, as we go about the work of living or of being able to be one who loves another and experience a loss or experience a hurts when someone is hurt, when someone is sick, we say, Lord, what am I able to do? And the Lord says, bring that to my cross so that we have that sense of redemptive suffering, that the suffering that we experience or the suffering that we have experienced of another can be brought to the Lord so that it can be made perfect. It is that way of uniting again to the Lord to say, even my suffering I'm able to do for Him. And from that, I'm able to receive strength to go about in that process of healing or in that process of trying to get better, or in the process of serving those who are in need. It's such a great gift that as we are able to think of somebody in prayer, think of somebody suffering, we are able to do an action as well for them with that prayer, to say that so-and-so is sick, let me pray for them. And as we pray for them, we get the strength to say, you know, can I do something in addition to that for them? Where I might have the opportunity to write them a letter, I might have the opportunity to call them up, I might have the opportunity to visit them or give them something that will truly help them at this time or that. Where the prayer brings us to that presence of that person in our hearts so that through that we might say what more can i do it is that great expression of one who is serving at table one who is welcoming the stranger to say always what more can i do for this guest for this person in the same way we do that in that very power of contemplation what more can i do for this for that person it is such a great gift because the lord has shown us his love so that as we do things, we know that we are doing them for the Lord, and in that great love, the Lord inspires us to do more, inspires us to go out to the furthest reaches, not only of our home, but of our world. As we've been praying for the people of Ukraine, our prayers remind us of what more can we do for those people, what more can we do in service for those in need. My dear sisters and brothers, Let's continually maintain our mission in life. Let's continually do all things for the Lord. But let us combine them in the ways of Martha and Mary, so that as we know what the Lord wants, 
as Mary does, through that great power of prayer and contemplation, we might be able to act immediately on it as Martha does, in that way of active spirituality, so that being those active contemplatives, we might continually serve the Lord here on earth and eternally. My dear sisters and brothers, let us offer our profession of prayer. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, the light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate in the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated in the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And is seen in the bad land. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, giver of life, who proceeds the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is glory and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Salvation Church. I confess one baptism for the human sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, who lie in the world to come. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, when Martha was anxious and worried about many things, Jesus comforted her and assured her that she could take refuge in him. Let us call to mind our worries and anxieties and lay them at the Lord's feet. For the church, that we may welcome with open arms all those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may work together and help to restore peace among nations, especially in the Ukraine. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who migrate in search of safety, security, and well-being, that they may find welcome in their new home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer in the summer's extreme temperatures, especially seniors, those with medical conditions, and the homeless. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our community of faith always exercise hospitality, inviting, and welcoming to all those seeking a spiritual home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and all those who care for them. May they feel the healing presence of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of our departed relatives and friends, especially Kiri Gian Francesco and Irene Kolar. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of the intentions and the prayer requests at the Mother of Mother's Shrine. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Agnesa and Carol Nidorist and family, and Valda E. Molina, the intentions of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own intentions. For all the prayers that we hold in the sounds of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Generous God, shower us with your grace and mercy, so that we may spread it all over the earth. Listen to the prayers we make, and grant us your blessings, as you did for Sarah and Abraham. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Please turn to number 724. I heard the voice of Jesus say, number 724. from your faithful servants, and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim.
indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we have poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Help me pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. To have with Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the VI, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Live not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace.
takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my word, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please turn to number 925, All Who Hunger, number 925.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have been viewed with heavenly mysteries to pass from four ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a few reminder announcements. St. Mary's School is looking for donations for gently used toys for their preschool classroom. You can bring donations to the school office or parish office. Please see the bulletin for the hours they are open to drop any donation off. St. Mary's School golf outing is July 23rd. It is not too late to register to support St. Mary's School and enjoy a round of golf. To help defer the cost of our St. Paul VI Parish Block Party on August 28th, we are having a Bona Beef Night on Thursday, July 28th. A flyer will be to me, a flyer to bring with you will be in the bulletin closer to the date of the fundraiser. Please see the website bulletin and our weekly e-blast for all the details about these events and other events, including all the service opportunities happening at the parish. Please turn to page 596, 596, Praise to you, O Christ our Savior, number 596. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gift of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. So that on this life's journey you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to glorify the Lord by our life. Thanks, Thanks to you, God. God.